how do you master that fast downstroke technique? And the solution is super simple. You need to practice it. <laughs> and secondly, you need to limit the movements you use. So, because you simply, you, you cannot move your hand up and down. If I play it's like, right? When I play like that, I take time to kind of, you know, strum the strings like with the rake technique really slowly. And to get a lot of noise into the, and to do some palm muting, right? So I'm almost, you know, ripping the strings to get a sound because I'm palm muting so hard. Right? But when you want to do the fast thing, you have to limit your movement. Or say it in, a, say it in another way, that happens automatically. The better you become, the less movement you use because you simply can't go up and down that fast if you have to go from this place to that place, right? So it becomes smaller and smaller. But that also means that you can use your arm for the whole thing. But what's absolutely the fastest is your, is your underarm and your hand. So you can go like, which is what the intuitive solution is, that we need to do it faster so we tense up. And then we, that's not going to last, right? You're going to ruin your arm, trust me. Um, so instead, you try to do this. You swing your, your hand back and forth like that, and you can't see that when I'm playing. Oh, you actually, perhaps you can. Right? Um, and then what you do, here's a very, very good exercise. This is what, what kind of made me break through to the other side, and that is to do half time, full time, right? So you go, one, two, oh, let's just speed it up just a little bit. One, two, three, four. You see, if you, if you take the upstrokes with, you know, include those, and then it just. And then use a metronome and say. Right? And then I can't do. And then you. So, so you know you're in time and you have something to stick to. Or practice a riff that you can just do. But it's a good, good idea with the metronome. So, one, two, three, four. And then go that and then double. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, ten, 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 ten. Ha <laughs> ha! Little bit too fast for me. Right? So that's the exercise, and you just slow it down and go. If that is too hard, or you might, you know, just do just like one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one. Because it seems that we have a much easier time to play those fast downstrokes if we have an inlet to do it. If you have to do it all the time, then it's, it's really hard. But if you can just do a little of it, then you have that inlet. Of it. Right? Remember, use your hand. That's how it feels, right? And don't tense up in your arm. Right? Because then you might you know, get a result, but then you're just going to deal with your elbow hurting all the time, which is not conducive to any cool performance on stage. So that's the solution. So you might you know, sit on the couch and then just with no sound on your guitar, right? over and over and over again. Don't forget, you need a lot of repetitions of the same thing. You need those repetitions to be perfect. Don't make mistakes. Just do it and do it right. And you do it millions of times, you know, uh, you can do that in a couple of months or three months, and then you have it. But you need those repetitions in it. And because it's such a simple robotic thing, you can really do it without focusing too much on it as soon as, as, as long as you slow it down to a level of speed where you can get everything right. And then just over and over and over again, and the brain gets it and your body gets it. Everyone can learn to do this if you follow that simple recipe. See you in the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, do all the things. Go download the free course on alternate picking. Mm -hmm.